at this point, if I were to be stone boy, I wouldn't know whether I should be happy or be sad because some of these revelations, unless, of course, you are also part of the whole conversation and that is where probably you may not have any problem with it or you will even be happy about it. But then, Saliman is in the news and she's in the news with Stone Boy and Katawali. This is a very interesting conversation because there are certain revelations that have come out. You know, our sister Hood's, um, your friend is saying, a show on Adum, uh, Adum TV called the Adum Showtime, where now currently she hosts um, Pandits where they discuss entertainment news. And of course, after, she also has her own stand, uh, sound bite or maybe an editorial kind of some few minutes to do an editorial on some of the happenings in the industry or even take a bite on that particular se segment. But then, the interesting conversation that has come out lately has to do with her actually... Um, talking about a caucus meeting that went on behind the scenes by most people in the traditional media space where they actually decided to gum gap to either sabotage Shatawali and favor Stoneboy in this particular regard. Well, this and many more is what I want us to discuss today. Pardon my interface, there's been slight changes and I promise I'm going to revert back to the old or to the previous interface soon. But then, this particular show is brought to you by Ghana's number one right here in Abshazi. Go on your Google Play Store, your App Store, download the app today, sign up for just 20 Ghana CDs, and make sure that you earn no commission. I mean, you pay no commission to anybody. Whatever you earn, whatever you get is for you as far as Shazi is concerned. If you're a rider and you're looking for the best, most secure, and affordable ride on the market, then know that Shazi has got you covered. Download it today. And thank me later. Now let's go straight into the news. So you remember as far back as 2018, somebody like Marco Kekumante on Hit FM actually made a similar revelation of a plan or a meeting that was held closed doors just um, in the quest to create their own hero. And in that and in the creation of their own hero, I mean, favor Stone Boy, I think, play his songs, play getting a lot of features on the airwaves and also because they felt that Shatawali was very disrespectful to the traditional media. Now, in 2024, Saliman has also confirmed this particular assertion. And in fact, in terms of how she feels about Stoneboy's recent conversation and all of that in her editorial on Adun Showtime, woman really gave it to Stoneboy back to back. And some of the things that she said, I mean, like I said in my intro, I don't know if I should be scared if I were stone boy or I should be happy. In the sense that, according to her, like she said, there was a caucus meeting all to favor stone boy. That is just on the side. That is just number one. The second one has to do with the fact that because Shatawale was disrespectful or is disrespectful to some traditional media people, that is why they decided to come together to sabotage it. The reason why I'm saying if I would be scared or I should be happy is because of this. Now, it means that whatever love that is being shown you now, is it genuine or you have some form of questioning as far as some of the love that is shown to you? Well, I'm going to share my views on it after I play you some of the snippets of it. And again, she also revealed that According to them, Stoneboy has been talking. And she also expressed her disappointment when Stoneboy actually responded to, or how Stoneboy responded to the, the claim or the feature claim by others when the JJJ actually conversation came out where people were actually calling for a remix feature with Screwface. According to Saliman, she is not happy with how or with how Stoneboy actually responded to that particular issue on Onya Showtime on Anama Magran Show. And again, she also expressed her disappointment when Stoneboy actually went to, um, when Stoneboy was outside or captured outside in an interview where he said majority of Ghanaians actually think he's Jamaican. Well, this and many more is what Lady said. But then, I want us to go and listen to her rant 
when we come back, I will share my view on this particular issue. Stick and stay. I'll be right back. Stone boy. Who? Industry, I may meet now as Mamaga. You are caught into caucus meeting for the past three years to push your agenda. Your agenda now you're pushing is because Shatawale doesn't respect the traditional media. And to hear your caucus say, we will single handedly take you on the journey. Ah, we call For three years, four years, in them saw here by what the bedroom, bedmatics, Ajojo, Hua, Ama, you say, forward ever. Now, Shatawale caught now. Na down for ah, we mo dragi we mo tna internet ni swa dragi we mo koka we mo asemwa. How dare you respond to Shatawale? That's why I'm here. How dare you? Uti mi abo i popeti we sa we chichu we kan sem kakra na toso na pesa o kasa. Why are you deviating from the agenda? The agenda is say ya do uko Grammys or no ni ya dina ya dina carry an S. Say we ya pension ni. Yet you see, and I yet you come when we are all very much disappointed in you because we feel it's a sad brain. No, what to be found in your puppet because baby, I want you know, on you ho. Say, say, what's in a fear? Why, yes, how far was that is what legends do. Who do legendary status now? I say, you bring up and coming up. That is the level of what I want to It was what time one ho to why you busy. I've been for you, Tawachi. For the past three years, what I've I noticed with the beam, they say, they project you, no negativity. So why are you going to reply him? Why? You don't have to do that. I feel so, so, what's now a platform, so, you're bizarre, and a fan, and you're bizarre about, and you're JJJ remix. And for who can too much? And for who can too much? Sir JJJ remix, and your whole legend, Papa so also turn another legend's friends so, and the jammy to one of them, JJJ, a screw face. I will be a advocate to say, Ufan and Tusso, Ufan and Tusso, Ufan and Tusso. Not portfolio, where you portfolios as a PR, that's what you do, maybe more. Allow him to do it because PR job is not meant for everybody. You are not a PR person. What you say will not make commercial sense. Why do you open your mouth? To say, eh, eh, as portfolio said, eh, will not make commercial sense. That is Lumba. Any, nane, nane, see a champion. I promise you an album for 20 years in here. I was there. What you say? Yeah, I had the, I can't say, I'm the award, I'm the album, beba. Up to now, yeah, that's where it's going. I'm going to say, oh, yeah, yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, time. It's a sensible person. I will name say Grammy no, and you will find some quality better media co. Now a yes school face fans subject to me a brown no would have sat down to say say you know what? Ebeba, muni abotse, and your portfolio say. Now let's share our views in the comment section. I mean, after this revelation, I would really want to hear from you what you think about some of these revelations. For me, I am thinking about so many things at this time. Well, for, for your information, Shatawali has reacted to it, and I'm going to read his reaction to, to you, even on this conversation. But my own is very simple. I, I am having mixed feelings. Okay. So does that mean that most of the praises, um, the accolades, the fans that man have been receiving, like for, for the past years, are one that are out of jealousy, or are one that are, are out of pain for the fact that Shatawale do not regard these people. Whenever he is about to release an album and these people gather around around him, like they, they throw to his, his party, his ceremonies and all of that, does that mean that all these things are not genuine? If by these things, then I believe he should be scared. Unless, of course, like I said, he is part of the whole conversation or he is also part of the whole caucus meeting like Saliman revealed, then maybe he should be happy that, of course, he has some of these people on his side who are going to do it, but uh, do some of these conversations and PR for him. And looking at the kind of statement Saliman made, yes, we made sure that you win Artist of the Year. 
we make sure you do this, we make sure you do that, we make sure you do this, we make sure you do that. Or we make sure you achieve this only to spite this person. If indeed he is part of this whole conversation or he is part of the orchestration of this whole conversation, then <laughs> we have a very long way and a very interesting way to go in this industry. Because yes, nobody is saying it is bad for you to have some people behind you. Nobody is saying it is bad for you to get some people to actually vouch for you. Nobody is saying it is bad for you to actually get some people to put in a word or two for you. But my own is that not when it is out of pain for the fact that somebody is not giving them what they want. Somebody is not ready to lick their boots. Somebody is not ready to actually do whatever they want the person to do. Then it's scary. Then the day the person decides to kotto to whatever their demands are, know that you are doing. And that is it. You know, and again, for people like Saliman to be part of the team to help you orchestrate some of these um, up and down conversations and all of that. Me, it is scary because, you know, there are some people, yes, somebody will say, oh, if you're a cardiac and all of that. But you see, some people, <laughs> there, there are some people that talk before they think. There are some people that talk before they think. And obviously, woman is one of them. So if indeed there were some caucus meetings and all, look at the look at the revelation. And me, at this point, I would want to comment Shatawale even on this particular on this particular note. I would want to comment Shatawale on this note because you see, it is not easy for you to stay relevant for over two decades, and for top industry quote and unquote gurus to say. We want to sabotage you, or everybody is trying to do one thing or the other to make sure your name is grounded. And still, we have conversation about Ghanaian music, and your name is not being able to omit. Like, even if we are talking about current relevance, you are in there, then it is about time we clap for man because it is not easy. It is not easy. No wonder some of these conversations, and you see, currently. One of the most interesting things is that aside the fight against him on the traditional media, there's also another fight against him even with some of the people in the new media. And it is interesting to know that even with the fight that is being given to him, people still, even when they are looking for people to represent the country, man's name will be mentioned one way or the other. And that is where some, somebody like me, my interest is coming from. But then, let me read his reaction as far as this particular conversation is concerned to you. Because what he said is actually a very interesting one. Now, Shatter, after, I'm sure he probably might have chanced on some of these conversations and decided to react to it. And in that sense, this is what he came to write on X. X, hello, Jewish. Them say them do meeting to bring me down. Oh. And he la added a laughing emo like laughing emojis to it and a picture of him making a call. So me, well, as much as this is an interesting reaction, my, my own still remains that this is the time we all need to applaud Shatawali. Because it is not, um, this is a very interesting conversation where there is actually a plot to bring you down. Aside the fact that there is maybe an agenda to elevate somebody, there is also a plot to bring you down. And after, the interesting thing is when people will go on air and go like, eh, radio, see but you guys have got up not to play his song on radio. And after you can tell before that, he's not getting radio happy. <laughs> well, Share your views in the comment section. Let me hear from you. Let me know what you think. My name is Roland Amate. Thanks for tuning in. What do you make of some of these revelations and all of that? But then, share your views in the comment section. Let me hear from you. Let me know what you think about this caucus meeting, Saliman's allegations, and all of that. And do you think Stoneboy should be scared? And what should be done to Shatawali at this point? Do you think at this point, now that most of them are revealed, and all of that. You should we should actually come like 
comment Shatawale and even come together to support him. Or you say, hey, him too, sometimes will be able. But then, Charlie, if all these things have been meted out to you for years, definitely, definitely, there will be instances where it will be difficult for, 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 for you to actually not react in a certain way. But then, share your views in the comment section. My name is Roland Amate. Thanks for tuning in. Until then, I'll see you on the next episode. Peace. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.